Okay, today we're going to be synthesizing chloroacetic acid by direct chlorination of acetic acid, glacial acetic acid in this case. Um, for this purpose, I weighed out 101 grains glacial acetic acid. and 10 grams sulfur as a catalyst. For the chlorine gas generator I used TCCA which was obtained by pool tablets. Yeah. I used around 100 grams of it and roughly 160 milliliters of a 30 to 33 percent HCl solution. It's better to put on a gas mask if you're pulverizing the TCCA because the um, dust which is coming off is very aggressive. Now to the chemistry behind it. The chlorination of acetic acid is a yeah, not very easy process. Chlorination of alpha carbon acids is not as easy as you might think just run some um, chlorine gas through the acid and everything is fine now you have to use a catalyst in this case sulfur the catalyst forms a chloroacetic anhydride which is very easily chlorinated To further um, speed the process up, I used a halogen um, lamp, which helped the Cl gas to break homogeneous to the single atoms. I also used a water bath to get a temperature from around 95 to 96 degrees, which further speeded the process up. It's very important that you use dry chlorine gas. I dried my chlorine gas over sulfuric acid in a uh, wash bottle. In the end, the sulfur was very hard and clumpy because the sulfur built some hydrogen sulfur which was reduced and then built it new sulfur which made a polymer like um, stuff Um, to clean your product up, you have to dissolve it in water. I used 30 ml of distilled water and stirred uh, the mixture for around 30 minutes. After that, I filtered the sulfur out of the solution. In this process, I clocked, totally clocked my glass sinter. I had to throw it away after that because it was totally wasted. The filtration took a very long time because some of the sulfur was very fine. I needed around two hours to totally filter the mixture. After that, I cooled the uh, product mixture down and the haze in the or haze or dust in the mixture came from already crystallizing chloroacetic acid. So now you just have to evaporate the water and you will have chloroacetic acid. So have fun with it and don't kill yourself. <laughs>